Dear students, you were given matrix A. Matrix A is of order 3 by 3. And matrix B is of order 3 by 2. Therefore, we can find the product matrix AB. We can find the product matrix AB because the number of columns of the first matrix A that is 3 is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. So the number of columns of the first matrix A is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix B. Therefore, we can find the product matrix AB. How is the product matrix AB is found? It is found by means of multiplying the rows of A with the columns of B correspondingly and we have to take the sum. That is first row with first, first row with first column first row with second column, first row with third column must be multiplied correspondingly and then added. Similarly, second row, first column, second row, second column, second row, third column and so on. So A, B matrix. A matrix is 1, 1, minus 1, 2, 0, 3, 3, minus 1, 2, and my B matrix is 1, 0, minus 1, 3, 2, 4. First row with first column. And first row with first column. That is 1, 1, minus 1. This is my first row. With first column, 1, 0, minus 1. Then first row, with second column, that is 1, 1, minus 1, 3, 2, 4. First row with second column. Now, second row with first column. Second row with first column. That is 2, 0, 3. Second row. First column. 1, 0, minus 1. Second row. Second column, second row, second column, that is 2, 0, 3, second row, second column, 3, 2, 4. Then third row, first column. Third row, first column, that is 3, minus 1, 2. Third row, first column, 1, 0, minus 1. Then third row, with second column, that is 3, minus 1, 2. Third row, second column, 3, 2, 4. This is my matrix AB. And you know how to find the product. That is, the first row elements should be multiplied with first column elements correspondingly and then add. First row elements should be multiplied with first column elements correspondingly and then added. That is 1 into 1 
then 1 into 0 plus 1 into 0 plus minus 1 into minus 1. I write it here, AB matrix. One into one plus one into zero plus minus one into minus one. Then first row, second column, 1 into 3, plus 1 into 2, plus minus 1 into 4. Then, Second row, first column, 2 into 1, plus 0 into 0, plus 3 into minus 1. Second row, second column. Second row, second column elements must be multiplied correspondingly and then we have to take the sum. 2 into 3 plus 0 into 2 0 into 2 plus 3 into 4. Then third row first column, 3 into 1 plus minus 1 into 0 plus 2 into 1. Then Third row, second column, 3 into 3, third row, second column, 3 into 3, 9, 3 into 3, plus, minus 1 into 2, the row elements must be multiplied with the column elements correspondingly and then it has to be added. Row elements must be multiplied with column elements correspondingly and then it must be added. Minus 1 into 2 plus 2 into 4. Just on simplification. This on simplification, 1 into 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 plus 1, then 3 plus 2 minus 4, 3 plus 2 minus 4, then 2 plus 0 minus 3. 2 plus 0 minus 3 then 6 plus 0 plus 12 my third row elements are 3 plus 0 plus 2 then 9 9 minus 2 plus 8. 
9 minus 2 plus 8. This is some simplification. Matrix AB. This is some simplification. Matrix AB is 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 2. 3 plus 2 minus 4, 1. 2 plus 0 minus 3, minus 1. 6 plus 0 plus 12, 18. 3 plus 0 min 3 plus 0 plus 2 5 then 9 minus 2 7 7 plus 8 what's that 15 so a b matrix is of order 3 by 2 a b matrix is of order 3 by 2 you see a is a matrix of order 3 by 3 B is a matrix of order 3 by 2. The number of columns of A is equal to the number of rows of B. And the order of product matrix AB. The order of product matrix AB is 3 by 2. Similarly, the order of product matrix AB is 3 by 2. Order of matrix AB is 3 by 2. Clear my dear students?